According to a recent CNN Kaiser Family Foundation poll, four out of five Americans say the cost of mental health care is a big problem. About three quarters say insurance not cover mental health the way they do physical health is a significant concern, and nearly two thirds are concerned about the lack of providers taking insurance. But there are free and low cost mental health services available here in the Bay Area, and one of those is called the Warm Line. Joining us live now is Mark Salazar, the CEO of the Mental Health Association of San Francisco. Thanks so much for joining us this evening. This is such an important topic. Can you tell us more about the purpose of the Warm Line and how does it work? Yeah, uh, thank you for having me on on this World Mental Health Day. Uh, the warm line is a non-judgmental peer support warm line. Uh, when I say peer, it's individuals who identify as uh, living with their own mental health conditions. So anyone can call it. It's pre-crisis. Everyone's familiar with 988. Uh, that's really for uh, suicide and crisis uh, calls. The warm line, which is 855 845 7415 is really more of a low threshold, non-judgmental, peer-to-peer, uh, peer-to-peer counseling uh, support for anyone in California. So it's not just San Francisco, but anyone in California can call. So anybody can call this line any time of day and get a little bit of help, a little bit of support from somebody. Yes, 24-7. They can even uh, use our online platform. I'm sure they can chat, and we are about to push our text option as well soon. So there's lots of way to access this. Okay, so one thing experts emphasize is the need to reduce the stigma of mental health problems and seeking treatment. Why is that so important and how do you achieve that goal? Because that's hard. Yeah, stigma is one of the leading barriers uh, for not accessing mental health services. And stigma is everywhere. It's on TV, you know, it's on the news, it's in movies. It's how we speak to each other as well. And when we disparage folks or make jokes about folks with mental health conditions, it makes those who have or are experiencing some not want to seek help. So like, for example, in the Filipino community myself, well, you know, we're, we don't even talk about it. Mental health is seen as weakness, is seen as someone that, uh, that's less than. And so when we don't talk about mental health and we don't normalize it, people don't access those services. Uh, and like you mentioned earlier about, you know, uh, the health system, uh, the parity around mental health is really challenging as well. When we say we want people to access mental health services, but we don't really give them the opportunity to seek them, uh, they're, you know, they're saying, why, why should I even bother looking for mental health services when I can't, I'm getting denied by my insurance or health provider? Yeah, and just to clarify, the warm line is free, and you can do it anonymously. You can do it online. You can use your phone. I mean, there's lots of ways that you can access it. Finally, what would your advice to be for someone who isn't sure if they need help, doesn't know where to start? Because mental health can manifest itself a lot of different ways. It's not just depression and anxiety. Sometimes it can manifest, it manifest itself physically as well. Yeah, when you're experiencing anything that's not normal to you, uh, that's not part of your daily routine, um, we suggest you speak to someone that you trust, that you can lean on typically. Uh, they can give you better uh, information about yourself. But we also recommend you seek a professional help. You know, you can talk to your physicians. Uh, physicians can talk to you about the options that you have. Uh, and there's also, again, our warm line. They can help guide you through look, uh, looking for information and referral services. So they can help you seek out uh, support. They can help you find, you know, what who takes insurance, who doesn't. So there's myriad of ways. Um, you know, the Mental Health Association of San Francisco, uh, we have an information referral program as well. So, if, you know, people are interested. You, you can Google it. Uh, but I would recommend you see, speak to someone you know or talk to a professional or call something like the warm line such a great service because you're right it is daunting when you start to approach getting treatment it's nice to know there is one place that's free that's anonymous very accessible for anybody who needs a little help and we all need a little help sometimes let's be honest yes we do thank you so much all right mark salazar ceo of the mental health association of san francisco thanks for joining us